what's up drama divas welcome back to christine does drama so today i'm going to be reviewing the latest episode of scandal and we have much to discuss so let's get straight into it abby's gladiator instincts finally kick in and she's starting to get suspicious where is olivia so she goes to olivia pope and associates and she's like to quinn i was a gladiator before you were a gladiator where's olivia and they won't give her any information and i'm so like upset i just want, want abby to quit the white house and just go back to livery pope and associates like that's where she belongs but they wouldn't give her any information and huck's like oh we can't trust anyone in the white house and i'm just like oh so things are going forward with olivia they're all trying to bid on Olivia to try and get her back in the White House. They're all coming together, the Secret Service, the CIA, trying to find out the best way in order to get Olivia. So what they want to do is they want to use a terrorist to get um, to get Olivia back because they can't be seen to be negotiating with terrorists. So they have to do it in an underhanded way. But Jake goes back to Olivia Pope and Associates. He talks to Huck and he talks to Quinn and they're like, well, we need money. Let's try and do it ourselves. Let's not go with the White House. Let's try and raise the money. And, and Quinn's like, who has two billion dollars? like who has that sort of money and then Hart comes out with that he has two billion dollars because he thought that, that was payment for him being put in the hole by b613 and i'm like Hark, you pulled flipping quinn's tooth out you could have given her a few bucks so that she can pay her medical bills she's got student loans she could have helped her out i thought you liked quinn really hug you have two billion dollars and you didn't even try and like <laughs> help a sister out so it's a good thing that huck has two billion dollars because olivia said she'd be insulted by anything less than 500 million so <laughs> good for huck he's got two billion dollars but they have to have an invitation to be or to in order to be invited into this um, bidding war so who do they go and see it's the return of mama pope she's back and they need her help in order to get a terrorist on their side so they can use him in order to get um, invitation to the bidding war. Just when you think everything's gonna be okay, we'll finally get Olivia back. What happens? Gus freaking shoots Ian. I was just like, what? Right in front of Olivia, the blood's all over her face. She's screaming. And Gus is just like, I'm in charge now. You know, I'm gonna be the one who's in charge. You know, you kill my best friend. I had to have 17 stitches in my head. I was just like, oh my Lord, this is just gonna go wrong. This guy is insane. So Quinn and Jake have 10 minutes with uh, Mama Pope to convince her to give over her information about terrorists so that they can enter in the bidding war. And even though they were talking about getting her daughter back, she still wanted to make a deal. She was like, oh, I wanna have a library. I want this and that. I'm like. Your daughter is being held by like terrorists. Don't you want to get her back? And he was just like, nah, I want this, I want that. But then Quinn came up with a solution saying, you know, let, let her have a TV. David's like, no, she can't have one because she'll like break it and try and escape. Then Quinn's like, okay, well, let's just have it, beh uh, you know, but behind the bars and she can have basic cable and they have they make a deal and so mama pope gives over her information so cyrus and fitz come up with a way in order to get andrew out of the white house they just need to prove that the assassination attempt on him was a fake so they get liz to um say that she'll testify against andrew all she needs to do is just say that he the assassination was a fake and then she will get full immunity and my line of the week is what cyrus said to liz next however you will be my bitch until the end of time oh, i just love so hard at that bow down liz so now that mama pope has got jake huck and quinn into the bidding war she needs um huck to kill three men in order to please her terrorist friend gustavo and so um jake sits in the car and waits but then he's then he sees that huck's taking a long time and he goes into the room and he sees like Huck with blood all over himself and like dead bodies everywhere and him sawing off um, one of their um, arms and Jake's like what are you doing and then Huck's like well we need um, evidence that we kill them we need some sort of proof and so um, Jake's kind of freaked out and he's like you know what don't worry Huck you go and wash yourself up I'll do it for you I've got your back <laughs> and you've got Jake just standing there like cutting casually cutting someone's head head off I was just like is this a joke he's just like Gotta do my job. Just cut in the head. Gotta get Olivia back. <laughs> Only in scandal. So drunk Melly made a little bit of a return today. She was told by Andrew that if he gets charged, 
that he will tell the whole world that they had sex together and he said that he'll tell the world every filthy detail about their relationship. So she sits outside with um, Fitz and he's, she says to him, what do you want? And he says, you know, I want my son back, I want Jerry back, which I thought was really touching. But he also said that he really wants Liv back. And she tells him that she wants to be the president and she um, wants to get there no matter what because she knows that if this information comes out about her and Andrew that they no one will forgive her, the public won't forgive her like they've forgiven Fitz for cheating on her. So she begs Fitz to let Andrew go and so he's like, okay, gotta let her go. And you know what I was wondering all this time? That Fitz time in the, in the Oval Office is gonna end soon because here in the UK, you can be Prime Minister for um, more than two terms, but obviously in the US, you can only be President for two terms. So it'll be a great twist, you know, once Fitz gets out of the office, um, having uh, Melly as the President, I think that'll be a great twist and I think the show can continue if Melly becomes President. Alas, they are too late. They are too late to save Olivia. So you see Huck and you see um, Jake and um, Quinn, they're all there in the Olivia Pepin Associates trying to get into the bidding, but it's too late. Olivia has been sold to Iran. And you see um, Huck just absolutely devastated. Even though he, he just doesn't show it, you can you can see it. He's just like, he's just saying, look, Olivia's dead. That's it. She's gone. We can't get her back. They're going to take they're gonna take her apart limb by limb. They're going to send it to Fitz. And, and before you know it, Fitz isn't going to care about Olivia anymore. And you see Quinn just get so angry. She's like, you sick bastard. How dare you? And you see Jake trying to hold her back. And it's just so like, oh my gosh, like this is so tragic. But um, obviously that's not going to happen, but it's just so, like, Huck just loves her so much, but inside he's just given up on her. So it's going to be interesting to see who has actually got Olivia. We know she's been sold to Iran, but is she going to get out of this situation? And how is she going to get out of this situation? We'll have to wait until next week. So guys, we've come to the end of another Scandal Review. Make sure you leave your comments below and tell me what you enjoyed about this episode. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do Scandal Reviews every single week and I will see you soon, Drama Divas.